In this video, you will learn about India's largest dam construction project in Afghanistan. Salma Dam is located in Salma area of Chish district of Herat province and 170 kilometers northeast of Herat city on the way to Harirud Sea. Harirud Sea originates from the slopes of Mount Baba in the central regions of Afghanistan and travels a long distance inside Gore province and enters Herat province by passing through the city of Chaghacharan, the center of that province. Hari River is 1,124 kilometers long, 560 kilometers of which flows inside Afghanistan, and 60 kilometers of the common border between the two countries of Iran and Afghanistan is formed by the same sea. The Salma Dam, which is known as the Salma Dam Project in Afghanistan, is the largest infrastructure project in the history of Afghanistan, which was planned during the reign of Sardar Mohammad Dawood Khan, the first former president of Afghanistan, and its preliminary work began at the same time, and its construction was completed to 25%. But the outbreak of bloody wars in this country stopped the construction of the dam in 1357. After the fall of the Taliban, the Afghan government named the construction of the Salma Dam as its first major construction project, and its foundation stone was laid in 2006. This dam was built 170 kilometers northeast of Herat and on the way of the Hari Rud Sea in Chisht district of Herat province, which supplies more than 42 megawatts of electricity needed by Herat and its neighboring provinces and it also irrigates more than 200,000 acres of land from Harirud to the Iranian border in Zulfikar region. The country of India committed to build this dam with grants from the government of that country. The construction work of Salma Dam, which was supposed to be completed within 15 months, was delayed due to various reasons, including the lack of complete security. Armed people repeatedly attacked the workers and engineers working in the dam, and in some cases, even killed several of their security guards. Salma Dam was put into operation in 2015 with the presence of Afghan President Ashraf Ghani and Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Iran and Turkmenistan, which are currently the major consumers of Hari River water, are against the construction of this dam because it reduces the water intake of the Salma Dam, which was built by these two countries on Hari Rud by 73%. Harirud water supplies a part of the water of Razavi Khorasan province of Iran. That with the construction of this dam, the source of water supply in this area will disappear. But the Afghan government has declared that it is indifferent to these concerns, because Afghanistan's water has been used for free by neighboring countries for years. India, which is one of the largest donor countries to Afghanistan, undertook the construction of this dam at a cost of more than 80 million US dollars from the grants to Afghanistan. But later, it became clear that the construction of Salma Dam required more money and the Indian government again, he promised to pay all possible costs. Although the construction work of this dam was entrusted to an Indian company 30 years ago, but at that time, the cost of its construction was paid by the Afghan government. Rakesh Sood, the ambassador of India at the time in Afghanistan said, Since the Chishti dynasty went to India from here, Chisht Sharif district, therefore there is a long history between the people of Chish and the people of India, and that is why our government decided that this paragraph to build, since the beginning of the construction of this dam, many armed attacks have scared the employees and engineers of this dam until the end of 2009. 20 employees and security guards were killed by unknown armed people. Such attacks were carried out with the aim of creating fear and preventing the completion of the construction of this dam. The Indian government threatened that if Afghanistan fails to ensure the security of the Indian and Afghan workers in Salma Dam, the construction of the dam may be stopped or postponed. The opening of the dam, 10 security guards of Salma Dam were killed during an armed conflict with the Taliban in Chish Sharif district of Herat province. In this conflict, four members of the Taliban group were also killed. Salma Dam in Herat province was officially put into operation by the Prime Minister of India and the President of Afghanistan. 
The water extraction work of the main reservoir of Salma Dam in this province started in solar year 1395 and was put into operation in solar year 1395. The construction of this power and water dam cost more than 300 million American dollars, which was paid by India. This dam is 20 kilometers long and 3 kilometers wide and has a capacity of 640 million cubic meters of water. Also, Selma Dam will generate 42 megawatts of electricity and supply electricity to 40,000 families. Also, this dam has the capacity to irrigate 80,000 hectares of agricultural land, which can benefit more than 50,000 families. Salma Dam in Herat province of Afghanistan is associated with multiple importance for the people and economic development of this region and the whole country. By providing irrigation for 80,000 hectares of agricultural land, this clause will directly help to increase the production of agricultural products and improve the economic conditions of farmers in the region. Creating irrigation infrastructure not only allows farmers to use water resources optimally, but also has a direct effect on increasing their production and income. Also, the supply of more than 42 megawatts of electricity by this dam will help the development of industry and services in Herat province and its neighboring provinces. This electricity supply can lead to economic growth and job creation in the region. Also, the opening of Salma Dam is a symbol of cooperation and friendship between Afghanistan and India, which can strengthen the economy and development of both countries by promoting bilateral relations. In addition to increasing the area under cultivation and production of agricultural products, this plan will also contribute to the balance and sustainable development in the region, creating employment and increasing people's income. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel to be aware of my new videos.